Hello folks, this is David Hurley of EliteDownlineBuilder.com and in today's video I want to talk about a common problem that you may have encountered when trying to promote affiliate products taken from affiliate network sites on uh, ad sites such as EliteDownlineBuilder.com. Now the problem is that the affiliate networks make pages that are shown in frames invisible. So the viewers on our ad sites don't see the page. They just see a gray, grayed out area. And so they cannot click through and you therefore lose the opportunity of getting a sale from the visitors to uh, our ad sites. You don't want to waste your credits and I don't want you to waste your Elite Downline Builder credits on ads that don't work. So in this video, I'm going to uh, log into my account on Elite Downline Builder Dot com, and I'm going to show you what the problem is by setting things up that way. And I'm also going to show you a way around it, what you should do instead of directly promoting your affiliate link and how to do that. So let's log in to EliteDownlineBuilder.com and set up an ad uh, from the uh, Warrior Plus site. Okay, get past the login offer. And let's buy a full page ad. Here we go. And let's create the ad. So the ad is going to be for the click engine. Okay, click engine, click engine two, click engine. This is the product, Jeff Amon's excellent traffic product that I've been promoting with some considerable success, actually. But then again, the product is a very good product, so it's not difficult to get conversions. I'm going to take that. It's very difficult to get conversions if you don't set your ad up right. Now you can see I've put the Warrior Plus affiliate link, my Warrior Plus affiliate link for the Click Engine directly into the full page ad URL field. And I'm going to save it. Now, if I'm not aware of the problem, you see on my site and on sites that use this software, um, the person submitting the ad doesn't get to check that particular ad. It's submitted directly to the admin for approval. So you may not be aware that there is a problem. Let me show you now what the admin sees. Okay, approve ads. Uh, here it is. I did I did a test one before. So um, what I do when I receive ads, I check them, always check them. If you've got a good admin, the admin will check the ads. You won't just <laughs> approve them. Uh, and if the ad is no good, I send it back. This is the problem here. You see, warriorplus.com refused to connect. Now, it says up here, if you can see this message, the site isn't a frame breaker, which is all very nice. But this will be totally ineffective for the advertiser. So this isn't a video about admin management, but I will just show you what I do. Um, neither of these are any good, so I delete them and they get sent back to the users. OK, so now I'll log out of my admin site. I'll go back to my members site and I'll set up the ad in the proper way. So one moment. OK, so we log in again and we go past the wonderful login offer. And we're going to buy another one of those full page ads. Full page ad, there we go. Click it, set it up. I could probably have gone back and redone one of the ones that uh, I, in my role as admin, sent up 
sent back to me in my role as as um, affiliate marketer. So here it is. Um, yeah, we don't have to go through all that again. So let's remove that. Uh, I want to promote. I want to promote the click engine, but a direct link doesn't work as we've just seen. So what we're going to do is hop over to Leads Leap, which is an excellent site. If you don't have a Leads Leap account, what are you doing? We're going to log in here to Leads Leap. And we are going to find a squeeze page, or rather, I should say, a splash page. Here we go, page manager. Now, I've already set up the page. I'm not going to make a page here on this video. That's not the purpose of the video. The point is, is that to avoid the problem that we've just seen with affiliate network affiliate links, you want to create a splash page. And I recommend that you do it on Leads Leap, but there are plenty of other places where you can do that. And I will also give my give my page a little uh, tag EDB to show me that traffic to the page is coming from um, Elite Downline Builder. And we'll put our squeeze page in. OK, Elite Downline Builder. Oh, look at that. I've already done it. So it's, the site remembers or at least the computer remembers the code. Elite Downline Builder full page ad. Yes, that's what we want. OK, let's save that. So again, it goes straight back to the admin for approval. So you just have to trust that your site is OK. And a good admin will make sure it is for you. Approve ads. Here we are. Hero Hurl, the click engine too. How's it going to look? OK, there it goes. You see, it's in the frame, but it's not being blocked. Anyway, I hope you found that video useful. That's all from me for now. David Hurley of EliteDownlineBuilder.com.